Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Jinx Reacts. I am Gina Winks, a dorky pro audio engineer who fell into a rabbit hole of reaction videos a while back and decided I wanted to do it too and have been having a blast. And today I will be reacting to Falling in Reverse, Last Resort, Reimagined. So it's the cover of Papa Roach's Last Resort. I will never forget seeing the clip of Ronnie who in the same room with Jacoby and about to to play this version for him and it wasn't fully mixed it was just um you know it was in it was mid production but he was so nervous and excited like his hands were shaking and it was cool to see that like human part of of that so um super super awesome excited to talk about this one uh, it's always it was it's been requested since the very beginning of the channel and um, i'm excited to dig in a little bit we'll see where this goes i do not take notes or make outlines even of the things that i i know and love so i just go with the flow see what happens and um if you haven't heard this one you're in for well, you're in for a ride so Let's go ahead and just get into it. I mean, spoiler, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, um, regardless, check it out. Check out the, the link below to to really, really feel the full effect of this song. Anyhow, but a spoiler, I love, I mean, it's upside down right now. I love that it's very, very Inception. Like, the visual of what happens in the very beginning, the way the camera is panned. And the way, and the fact that this is also like a rendered environment, and it's so detailed that alone, and you'll see what I say, or you see what I'm talking about um, throughout the entire video. But like, as per always, these you know, the, this video is pristine and movie quality effects. So. Let's go for real this time. <laughs> that pan. And look how tiny it is compared to everything else. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing, don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. This is my last resort. So many things in the beginning to call out. Like I said, that way the camera pans, it's like, um, Basically, what I'm wondering with the production wise is, is he in either like green room or blue room? I would, he asked, obviously, that's a silly question, but with the way that it panned, the way they created that effect was super effective and meaningful in the way that you see like this surrounding area and like how he's so you know there's so much around him he's so little in comparison to what every everything that's going on and he's so breathy and light and high on that super high range and the way that it's the mix is put together. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that uh, down the road, but just the breathiness in his voice uh, matched with the delicate piano playing and taking place of what used to be a very intense, upbeat, badass guitar riff. And he's just breaking it down 
breaking it down completely. And it's beautiful just from the start. I'm going to go back a little. There's a, there's a specific um, thought that I would... Oh, wow, we're going all the way back. Ooh, that's fine. Let's do it. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm. Cut my life into pieces. Erase my last resort, suffocation, no breathing. Um, I actually went back, but the pan, um, the camera angle that I was talking about just happened. Let's see if it's like, I think it's right before or right after this. Um, they pull back and and tilt. It's just little little details like that that create the environment that they are purposefully creating. Like they, it's everything. Everything is purposeful. Cut my life into pieces Erase my last resort Suffocation, no breathing Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding Do you even care if I die bleeding? Would it be wrong or it be right If I took my life tonight Chances are that I might Mutilation out of sight And I'm contemplating suicide I'm contemplating suicide I'll just stop and say, being that I know this song, I've heard it many, many times. I've seen many reactions to it, but um, I'll never forget listening to this song the first time, and I'm already getting emotional because I knew Papa Roach's song. Like I, that was that was huge when I was in high school, or like, you know, se seventh, eighth grade, high school, whatever. And um, the way he pulls everything back and just puts the lyrics in our face, I remember thinking to myself, "Holy shit, these are these are the lyrics." <laughs> like that's. It's not that like I was blind to the lyrics completely. But I was in regards to the depth, you know, because it's such a, um, the Papa Roach version is such a rock song, head banging, badass song. And here, Ronnie, Ronnie. exposes the truth behind it and I'll, I'll never forget like how out of breath I was <laughs> what hearing and I still get this way because it's so deep so raw and so real all right I think that's I think I'm incomplete in that thought right now. I think I am. I think I'm complete in that thought now. So let's continue. Cause I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. I 
I will say I was surprised to hear the like tiny use of auto tune when he goes up into that extremely high falsetto and that note when he like shifts into that note. And with that said, it's really well placed. I mean, obviously it is there for a reason. And it's almost like it's it's that cry it's the breaking and the cracking of the voice. And um and you know, you wonder I, I'd love to be in the mind of Ronnie in regards to why exactly he did that. And maybe it's just I don't know. I think it was purposeful for the song, not not in the case of like, oh, this is my higher register. I'm not as comfortable in it. I think it was no, like this needs to be here to differentiate and like have that kind of break in the voice because all all of this stuff is going on in in the lyrics in the head and the meaning of the song. I'm gonna roll back that a little bit and these uh the 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 string. Uh, players the string musicians are i love that they're like these statues they're obviously not statues but they look it and i love the um gray very drawn back uh color scheme it's, all of it's just so beautifully done let's go here I wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. And I meant to say the, uh, the, the, that desperation at the end of fine, fine. But like, I can't do the thing that he does. The little, like, it's like a crying, like whimpering almost so perfect so beautiful gonna listen to that downward spiral again again i've heard this so many times i'm like i forget how many fantastic things he does with the voice because i i usually just totally fall into it but i want to point out like these the way he uses his vocal cords just beautiful just i can't stop saying it's today is beautiful that that's the word of the day today never realized i was spread too thin till it was too late and i was empty within feeding on chaos and living in sin downward spiral where do i begin And then he goes from this breathy, high pitched to, you know, introducing the growl and the rasp, and then right back to the delicate, breathy, high end. The control and the transitions to be able to do that with your voice is not easy. And he does not have professional vocal training he just does this just it's just natural to him somehow and i was empty whipping feeding on chaos and living in sin downward spiral where do i begin
Okay, and now we've got the orchestra strings, whatever. <laughs> you know, just massive build, and it's coming into this. It, you could it. It sounds like it should be in a movie. It sounds like it should be in a movie. Hello, everyone. This is a uh, future Gina coming to you to kind of give you a little insight. Uh, I don't know if it's halfway through the video or what, but at some point I had to stop recording, go and live life and do a few things and then come back to it. And I realized the lighting is very different and not even because of the settings of my lighting is just because it is now dark outside and the tiny bit of light that comes through <laughs> apparently makes a quite a big difference. So I just kind of wanted to hop in here and be like, there's going to be a drastic change here. And this is, this is what's up. I like to be real. You know how it is. I like to be real. Uh, so just want to kind of let you guys know what that was about. All right. So oh, freaking cool, right? Okay, so we've got like two minutes left of the song. I'm going to see how long between pauses I can go because this is a point in the uh, song where I just want to soak it in like I usually do. And then maybe if I can hold on, I'll talk about some more things later afterwards. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Cause I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Nothing is Okay, I have to stop there. <laughs> and we didn't get that much further. It's just the perfect uh, metaphor of all of this crumbling down around him at this point in time. It's just the perfect metaphor. But it's at that point of when he's realizing yeah, I can't, can't continue to do this. Okay, there I go again. I just can't not stop because of the layering there. I love when they do this. I mean, I feel like, and maybe it's just because I listen to them so often, and I'm so, I very much get into the like mix of things, literally the production mix with their music, but like Ronnie, the way he layers things is so cool where he's got the I can't go on living this way or 
and then he's you know he's got the layer of him and crying and then this you know the piano the strings the way that they are mixed and the way that they are put in are just so so well placed within the mix I said that in a weird way but the the way the different tracks are placed in the mix makes it so clear as to what each track is doing saying meaning like you can't you you're not missing any of it there's nothing hiding there are different levels of volume but you can hear it all and pretty freaking clearly like really actually very clearly and I, I feel like not not a whole lot of bands do that in the way that he does they do and then of course now things are coming up Yeah, the the cinematic aspect of both the visuals and the song the way that I mean it truly builds like a movie, a movie theme. And You know, there's so much part of me that would want wants to like roll back two minutes and listen to that whole section, but that's why I put the links in the description. So, and the reason I say back two minutes is because that's when it starts to begin to build. And I know, actually, we're going to do it. I don't care. We're going to do it. Um, but I want to explain why. That is... The the beginning is so... Like, cut deep into the lyric. Which is a whole experience on its own. Very different than listening to most music. Um, you know, I think of Ren, like, very similar type of, like, this hits you hard, but it's needed. But then it starts to build in this, like, you can hear his emotion in it. And you can hear that, like, I'm not, the, like, I'm better than this. And he is, like... And it just it, at, it, what I'm trying to say is at the end, those last two minutes, the chill factor of like that, the way the music grows, the way it fills up the 
and then he and then the and the drums come in because drums don't come in until later and they're tight coat drums like what if i'm correct correct me if i'm wrong but let's hear it again we're gonna hear that last two minutes and then we'll wrap it the video up because you to experience that portion is its own its own little beast yeah there it is The way that, like, you see him put his mouth, and yes, of course, they're lip syncing in a video, but dude is either actually singing in the process. Like, he, I feel like he has to be singing in the process of recording because you can, like, see some of the things he does, the shape of his mouth, the way his tongue is. Like, I know it sounds, but I feel like or he's really good at lip syncing. But in this case, it, it's almost like they didn't take the vocals from, you know, while they were recording the video. But he, I feel like he had to have been singing during that with the way he moves his face and his mouth, like as he's, you know, screaming and um and just in general I'm, I, I'm really curious to find out about that um I don't know if there's a behind the scenes of it I would guess there might be I don't know I'll look more into that anyhow thank you for being here um I pretty much said all the things that I could think to say at the time and it's just one of those songs that I, you know, hits you, hits you hard, but in a really good way because so many people can relate and so many people can, it, like, the empathy and the energy that is around it and the way he emotes vocally, physically is just powerful. So I'm glad that I kind of went back to the roots, had some fun with falling in the verse and the, and the, one of the most intense, got to be one of the most intense songs and definitely, you know, covers like, 
loved it and hope you did. If you do love what you see, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and of course, comment. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for making this channel what it is. My, It's growing. I have an awesome group of humans and, and I couldn't be more grateful. So with that said, y'all have a good day, morning, night, evening, whatever it is. And I will see you on the next one.